I'm a kind of guy who likes all types of music. Like I tell everybody, they ask me, what's my favorite kind of music? I say all types of music. And then I hear metal. There's nothing really good about it. I think it just sounds like a bunch of like noise, like ah. <laughs> It's not music. It's not music. It's not music. I think metalheads are crazy people. I don't like that people actually like it. And those, you know, those metal rockers, long hair, and just bob their, bob their head like this, and have like heavier stuff like that. It's not generally accepted as much as it could be. There's no beat. There's no melody. There's no melody. They have no idea. What is on the radio and what becomes popular, you know, is usually what the average person can grasp and retain and, and understand and what sticks in their head. And usually that's something a lot more simple. You know what I mean? If you're trying to write a radio hit, you can't be writing all these over the top, you know, super technical things because it will go over most people's heads. A lot of metal ends up being, you know, music for musicians, you know, because it like, uh, over the years, the technicality has, you know, everyone just keeps raising the bar and raising the bar and it just keeps getting ridiculous. The people that aren't really into that style of music don't really realize how much really goes into it. A lot of metal bands are underrated. The people hear screaming and think, oh, these guys are yeah, just they're making they're a noise. Out. I've got to go out on stage, scream and sing like that and sing high and sing low and do everything else and I get no credit from it from your average person. It's, it's just things like that are annoying. And the like, average people wouldn't be able to, yeah, they could yell and scream, but it wouldn't sound good. There's like technique to screaming. There's technique to all that type of things. People talk about gore and the devil and all this other crazy stuff, you know, but it's not something that we honestly believe in. It's just, it comes with the, the territory, you know what I mean? If you're gonna have extreme music, there has to be extreme lyrics. You know what I mean? It's dark and aggressive. You have to sing about dark and aggressive things. Sometimes something that's created at a specific time is dark and it kind of has that effect overall because it came from a dark place. So for us, it's about trying to give something back to people or something empowering or something positive. We're having a good night! You guys having a good night! So that people have an outlet more than anything. It's aggressive, but it's positive aggression. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, that's what took me away when I was young from my parents fighting and all the bullshit of youth was music. You can write some really killer lyrics that can give people inspiration as well. You know, if you're just talking straight up metal, it's just, to me it's just one of the most honest forms of music out there. There's no, like, BS about it at all. It's, yeah. it's, it's completely real. You know, it's not manufactured for any particular reason except for the people who do it who love it. Like, and that's like metal's like the only Release. like Safe audibly noticeable angry music. Like you could be or like a pop star and be an angry, you know, deep person, but you can't friggin' tell in a pop like and whatever. I like metal because it could be fast, it could be uh, slow, it could be melodic. It could be a bunch of things when a lot of other music can't really be a lot of things. You could listen to the blues when you're down. Ah. Buddy listens to metal. Life's a struggle, but you always have to maintain hope. So, for me, music is always that hopeful element to give to people to keep moving on. I mean, it's just extremely powerful and empowering music for people that are in a rut, you know, to get out of that rut. I, I like the way it sounds, I like the aggressiveness of it, I like the dark side of it, I like, you know, but it's all, you know, all should be taken, you know, with a grain of salt, it's not, you know, meant to be something super serious. It's only going to be but so mainstream. People fear what they don't understand, I suppose, you know what I mean? And it, like I said, it's just not for everybody. I remember being, 
uh, real young when I first started uh, discovering bands like Slayer, you know, stuff like that, and just looking at the covers and the artwork and like, you know, how uh, just how evil and satanic it looked. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is bad. You know, like uh, I shouldn't be shouldn't be looking at this, shouldn't be listening to this. You know, bad things could happen. You know, and then like I grew up and you know I, I kind of you know made up my own mind as far as what I believe there is in the universe and you know and realize that there's nothing for me to be afraid of. It's you know just music and it's all in good fun. Thank you.